She was definitely been there all along, but she didn't have a name until recently. When delirium starts emerging, when I have the eyes and the lips on, then I'll see more of her mannerisms coming out. Hello. <laughs> She's quite camp, really. I'm just a shy, demure girl <laughs> in the big city. <laughs> I've just always had that flamboyant, kind of like exhibitionist side of myself. <laughs> as well as having this other side of myself, which is a lot more reserved. <laughs> I was always inside somewhere, but it was through drag that she found me and we became good friends. When I was about 14 years old, my dad left home. And from that, I think, I ended up getting into like a bad crowd and a bad relationship. So I decided to move to London from Bristol. It was then that I started going out to see drag. I just absolutely fell in love and it started to get me out and feel more comfortable. And I really found like I'd found my people. Delirium facilitates getting out and actually doing stuff in a way that Sid can't do it. Delirium is just a lot more well-rounded, robust, beautiful lady. <laughs> and Sid's more of a background girl, I feel. She just doesn't want to be centre of attention, whereas you can't say the same for me. <laughs> Gay culture on a whole is split up into so many different sections. So you're gonna get more mainstream drag queens in the wider gay community, which may not be very, um, like there is a lot of misogyny within the wider gay community. Men probably have a bit more natural confidence because the way that they're conditioned is to grow up and they're told that they can do anything you want to do, you just have to try hard. Everyone can do drag now. Doesn't matter what genitals you've got. Dance. <laughs> I'm just a pretty woman! So I was posing with this girl for a photo. Uh, she was saying like, oh, I love drag queens. And the guy taking the photo was just like, oh, she's not a drag queen. I just assume that they think I'm brilliant, sexy, and gorgeous. <laughs> da 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 If people say that women can't do drag, what would Delirium say to that? Fuck you, bitches! Delirium is a powerful, strong, independent woman. Just here to be wildly femme, and that is who I am. Leading up to Drag Idol, I feel like really worried and really nervous. I have a very high expectation of myself, and for me, it's kind of more about like meeting my own expectations. So what have we got so far? Maybe if we just think about how it's going to run from my evil feminist act mm. to um, the penis act. <laughs> <laughs> if I wear the cape and then I've got my armpit hair, that's how people think feminists <laughs> are. It's taking ownership of, yeah. of something that is like, oh, feminists are all evil, lesbians. It feels like you have to put in a lot more work to be at the same standard as some of the guys. Of 
got this kind of two-piece thing going on with slot written on it, which is nice. I was absolutely amazed when I saw her on stage the first time because she had so much confidence and presence. I've slowly got used to it, I suppose. <laughs> People get very confused when I say that Sid's a drag queen because I can see uh, their brain ticking. And Has she been saying that she's got a daughter but actually she's a biological son? So then I explain that you can be a drag queen and also a female drag queen. It helps if I say that she's um, an art student and... <laughs> <laughs> and it's all about performance art. <laughs> Delirium is such a larger than life character and it's a character that has a certain distance to my little baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I keep trying to tell this to her, it's just like, it's not... Don't think it's not Sid, it's delirium. Like when some things happen that are like a bit like a macabre or aggressive or like penisy, um, penis <laughs> sexual. You just don't think about it as Sid, it's delirium coming out. <laughs> they know what you're talking yeah. about, darling. The drag world is such a man's world in a way. When me, you, and Cass, we went to Pride and we were just walking down toward the entrance and there was a guy there who just looked at you and he said, bitch, can you remember? He was just <laughs> really, really aggressive. Imagine someone strikes so much emotion in you that you're actually going to say bitch, out like, like, no. just because of the way that they look. It's a bit of an awkward subject, really, mm. being a female and being angry about, you know, the way that you're treated in life. Yeah. And some people are a bit like, oh, no, I don't want to see that. That's a bit too much for me. Look at me. I look so cute and innocent, like, but I wouldn't melt. But I was, like, going out. This is, this is really difficult, actually. I didn't even, um, I haven't seen this before, but this must have been just before my dad left which is which is weird because I mean like my mum and dad look really happy together here so it's gonna make me cry. <laughs> I remember coming home and my uncle was here and I knew there was a really weird atmosphere in the house and um like my dad just didn't even he didn't even say anything to me he um he was just there one day and then he was he was gone the next. It was a really difficult, really, really difficult time. This was at the time when I was when I was 14 and I'd like done all little pictures of me and my dad, kind of like how I like remember him. This poem that went with it, which goes, Daddy don't leave, I don't like being alone. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, where have you gone, Daddy? Why aren't you home? <laughs> Don't you remember playing marbles or Saturday morning swims or playing football in the park? I remember I fell over and cried and you picked me up and kissed me better. Daddy, your room is empty and bare, but it still smells like you're here. All the paintings have gone. They've left whiter squares on the dirty walls. There are no clothes in the cupboard. So where will I hide next time we play hide and seek? I've been sat here waiting too long. Daddy, where have you gone? I miss you, Daddy. Did I do something wrong? <laughs> I just felt like my whole world had exploded. That's when I started to become really agoraphobic in those times and I, uh, so I stopped going to school. I kind of just ran riot and I did what the hell I wanted to and ended up meeting a very disruptive group of people. And I think like, you know, in Bristol, there's such a bad problem with drugs. Um, and unfortunately, that's kind of what I got into. Um, and that's where I met this guy who was just like, had a lot of that surrounding him. Um, 
and yeah, he was just incredibly abusive towards me. Um, and you know that that relationship has, you know, it's something that has affected my whole character, my whole person. Delirium is processing the trauma in my life, which isn't necessarily connected to my father. My father was just a catalyst to the trauma that happened afterwards. Drag is definitely very therapeutic. I can get up and be like, yeah, all of this shit's happened, but I'm still here and I'm fighting. Delirium is a coping mechanism for the anxiety, so she doesn't have any awareness of it, and that's how Sid deals with it. I feel like a separate entity to Sid. I come out of the bad experiences, but I have no emotional connection to them. So that's why it allows me to be confident. They really liked what I did, and I think that's, you know, that's what, what is to take away from here. They enjoyed it. It seems a bit strange, because I've always known a drag queen be a guy dressed as a fabulous woman. If anyone thinks of a drag queen, the first thing you think, well, obviously what you think is like a man, like, pretending to be a yeah, woman. Yeah, you, you kind, think that, that you kind of think that's, it's a yeah, definition, though. It's not, though. It's not, though. Yeah, like, to me, that would be a definition of a drag queen. It's not, though, because what I think is, like, sequins, big hair, doing a cover of a song, like, it's not about I'm a, I'm a guy dressed as a woman. Tonight, like, it definitely feels like a bit more pressure. I'm trying not to think about being nervous, but I, I am actually a lot more nervous than I was in Bristol. Hi, everyone! Hello, Hello. I'm Delirium. Hi. Nice to meet you Hi. all. I'm nice, nice to meet you. you. I've yes. only been here once before and they were really, the crowd was really nice and really appreciative. Yeah, it's such a great venue and always a great audience. I think there are some places that might be a bit more old fashioned, yeah. like um, more traditional, more traditional um, where they put on big hair and sequiny dresses and sing songs about sex and things. Mm. So they might be a bit more wary of women in drag. Yeah. They're very open here. Yeah. I mean, one of the judges came and asked who our pronouns were. Yeah. She's one of the first female drag queens I've ever seen, so to have her there tonight seeing me perform, I am going to really appreciate her feedback. Welcome to the Vauxhall Tavern, Delirium! so far. So I've been really nitpicky and I've been really like, I've been really harsh but it's because I want to help you, yeah? Of course, of course. Okay, right. I would be very careful when you're bringing people up on, on stage and kissing them. <laughs> consent, babes, consent. Unless it's a plant and it's an obvious, don't be, because like, at the same time, we don't like it when people touch us. The same with um, the, the hitting of the penis. Maybe three or four years ago, we wouldn't have had an act like you in this competition. We wouldn't have probably had women acts in this competition. Right now, I'm really happy and I'm just like, I don't really care about what happens. I'm just so 
glad to have that performance. Validating my art, saying, yes, I understand where you're coming from. Our runner-up from this evening's first heat of Drag Idol is... Um, I don't care that I don't know that I didn't win. I feel better that I came like like first the worst thing in the past. This is my three show. I feel like drag is very similar to the way that I feel about like painting or photography. Drag is like the expression of my art. It's like just a different medium. I've always loved creating characters um, and drawing them. And now it's kind of weird because I get to be the character. Tonight, my dad is gonna come and see me in drag for the first time, which is pretty terrifying. I am always really worried about what my dad is going to think about my artwork. I'm worried that he's not going to get it and he's not going to like it. And obviously it's meant to be a way to deal with the feelings that I have had and the trauma. And I think if he doesn't get it in some weird way in my head, it's like he's not accepting me and he's not accepting those bad times in my life. Um, and um, what I've been through, and how bad it was when he left. I want him to accept that it's like a really huge part of my life. If he doesn't get that, then he doesn't get me. Sorry, having a moment. Oh, here he is. But you never thought that you'd have a gay son for a daughter. <laughs> I think she did really well. I think there's a lot of potential there to move forward. So I'm very pleased. Always, I'm so proud, you know. So, so you know, so proud of you, perfor you know, performing. I don't know if you know, but like it's, yeah, I've been quite apprehensive just because I'm not, I'm not really sure. I just like, I feel like maybe you won't like it. You know, obviously it's, it's something that is a big, deal for me so it's it's nice for you to be here and to kind of like see it and understand it for me like that it, re it really means a lot <laughs> fuck off when you dress up though you've got to expect it do you think do you not think no, I think that everyone should be respected regardless of how you look sure, or how yeah. you dress. But it's, hard, like, it's, hard, it's that... harder to do what you do. Yeah, sure. But I feel like, who the fuck do you think you are? Anyway. I have gone through so much, but drag has been the biggest help in the world. <laughs> ah! If I actually met her, I think I'd be quite shy about her because she's like way cooler than me. <laughs>